How to upload your own font in the Design Stair. Okay, so we have just had a new font uploader tool added to Design Stair, and it's really exciting because it means that you can now upload your own brand fonts to your own Design Stair account and only you will be able to access them. So that's really cool. Okay, so I'll show you how to do it. Basically, first of all, what you need to do is get the font that you want to use, and you're going to need to use a web font generator to just get the correct font file. So I'm just going to type my name in there to show you what the font uploader pop-up looks like. So you'll see over here, when, when you've typed some text in, you have this option just above the font drop-down, it says add fonts. So if you click that, you're going to get this pop-up window and it's going to ask you to enter the font name, the font WAF file and the font TTF file. So when you have your font, you probably only have it in one file, maybe the OTF file or the TTF file. So you're going to need to use a web font generator to get the WAF file and, and the TTF file if you don't already have both of those. So the one that I use is this free web font generator. It is web-font-generator.com and all you do is choose the font file. So I'm just going to go and find the one you can either upload the OTF file or the TTF file, click open, and then tick I am uploading a font that is legal for web embedding, and then generate web font. And it will download a zip file. You can download a package with a zip file containing all of the font files that you need. Okay, so it's downloaded all of these options. So I'll go back over to Design Stair and I'm going to choose the WAF file. So I'm going to download and find. Okay, there it is. So, first, what you need to do is just check that the font is named correctly. So, by, to do this, you want to double click on the TTF file and see how it's actually named. So, you see in this case, it's named Isley Clays, but there's a space in between it, and we've got capital letters for both of the words. So on the font here, it's named slightly differently, there's no space. So you have to make sure that the font is named exactly how the TTF file is named, otherwise it won't upload properly. So I'm going to change that just by adding a space in to the TTF file and the WAF file so that they both are named exactly the same as the original TTF file. So I'll go back to Design Stair and I need to upload the WAF file first. So there is the newly named with the space in WAF file and I need to also upload the TTF file so that has the space in as well. So always check they're named exactly the same as the original TTF file and then just type the name in correctly here naming it exactly the same as, oh, I can't type, exactly the same as the TTF file and the WAF file so they're, both, they're all named correctly. Then click upload font Font has been added successfully. Close the drop the pop up, and you should see it in your fonts. So any fonts that you've added will be added to the top of your fonts list, and they will be highlighted with this blue background. So you see other fonts don't get the blue background like that, but these are the ones that I've added. So I'll just change it to that's my new font that I've just uploaded and that will always be in my font library now. No one else's, just mine. And then that is it, simple as that. So all you need to do is basically make sure you use a web font generator to get the correct WAF files and TTF files. Make sure the files are named exactly the same way as the original TTF file. Click add fonts and use this uploader to upload your fonts and they will then be saved to your font library. Okay. So that is how you upload fonts to design stuff.